Hello, welcome back to our channel, Precious Cats of Mama Keys. This is part one of the topic, Things That Break Your Cat's Heart. Is that cats aren't the easiest animals to own. However, that doesn't mean they aren't the sweetest little creatures to have around. Even with the whole tough beeline facade they try to front with, we all know they have very delicate feelings. As much as they can be happy and excited, they can also get very sad and disappointed. So, chances are, you've probably hurt their feelings at some point. Of course, none of these instances may have been intentional. However, while we may not have control over everything in life, we definitely should be able to control our actions. So, here are 16 things that emotionally hurt your cat that you should be aware of. 16. Pushing them away. No one likes to be pushed away, especially when all they want is your attention. And the case is not very different with cats. As a cat owner, you may have noticed how much your cats love being involved in your work. This means they could jump on your desk while you're trying to finish up work or study or simply get in the way. At this point, your immediate reflex is to push them away. But wait a second. How would you have felt if you were on the receiving end? That wouldn't have been the most pleasant experience for you. Well, it's no different with cats. So next time, before you act on that reflex, gently lift them and redirect them somewhere else. Even worse, there are cat parents who constantly reject their pets whenever they want to be around them. If you fit into this category, the only advice I have for you is that you stop immediately, or we just may come get him from you. 15. Leaving them alone. Rejecting the affection of your pet is one thing, but going as far as leaving them alone is a line you shouldn't cross. Of course, the best excuse many give is that cats aren't needy creatures. But while that may be true, it does not mean that cats enjoy constantly being alone. Many times, leaving them alone for too long makes them feel dejected. In most cases, they may not even want to be curled up in your arms. However, just knowing that you are close to them is enough. Of course, there are times when your feline friend may get picky about being pet. But you need to know that this doesn't mean they want to be left all alone. Now, we all know that life may be demanding. However, spending time with your cat should also be a priority. Your cat needs to know that they'll always have you. And if they don't have that constant reassurance, you may end up with a depressed cat. 14. Teasing. No one likes to be teased, whether you're a human or an animal. Now, you might be wondering, how do you tease a cat? Well, there are several ways people tease their cats, and you're probably guilty of a couple of them. Things like pulling their tail, scaring them out of sleep, blowing in their face, picking them up against their will. All of these things come off as teasing to your cat. And let's not forget the widespread cucumber prank that your cat absolutely does not find funny. Many times, these acts only leave these little guys confused or scared. Remember that just because you find it amusing doesn't mean they do. Does this mean that you can't have fun with your cat? Of course not. You can and should have fun with your cat. However, make sure your cat is having fun as well. 13. Ignorance. Turning a blind eye when your cat tries to draw your attention to the pain they may be feeling is terrible cat parenting. Remember that although your cat may be good at masking pain, you can usually tell when they are in pain. It could either be their inability to eat due to a tooth infection or their failure to use the litter box due to a urinary infection. Whatever the case may be, you have to be observant enough and not just act like this is normal behavior. Doing so leaves your cat feeling neglected. If, in any case, you notice your cat isn't comfortable, you may want to schedule an appointment with the vet. 12. Ignoring their fears. With the ability to hear sounds at 1.6 octaves higher than humans, you would understand why they jump at loud sounds. These things could be as simple as the vacuum cleaner, balloons, fireworks, or even video 
games. All of these loud sounds could cause them stress and anxiety. So whenever you notice the flattened ears, arched back, lowered tail, and looking for a hiding spot, you know that they are very uncomfortable. And there's nothing worse than seeing them in that state and not acting immediately. Remember that this fear of loud noise is a survival instinct in cats. So you would want to provide the little guy with a calm environment where they can feel safe. 11. Besides the loud noises from the appliances, movies, or video games, shouting at your cat also terrifies them. So yelling at them is never the best option, even when they make a mess. Yelling at your furry friend will only build fear in their minds and make them feel like they can't be safe around you. Pretty sure that's not what you want. So let's quit the yelling, shall we? 10. Punishment cat when they do something wrong definitely tells your cat that you are angry. However, that's not enough information for them to understand what they've done. So if you have the habit of forcefully grabbing them or shoving their face in a mess, not only is this ineffective, it's abuse. What's ironic is that fear is not a good deterrent for cats. If you instill fear in them by punishing them for making a mess, it's not going to keep them from repeating the mistake. It's only going to make them do even worse. So just like yelling at them, punishing your cat does not teach them a lesson. It only makes them afraid of you. Nine. That ends part one of our video on things that break our cat's heart. So we should avoid it. So see you on part two on this topic. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Adding up to our 991 subscribers. Thank you.